have limited contact, so please listen. The Soviet Navy has been monitoring the situation in Sweden, and together with NATO, we are offering assistance. Hello there, my name is Misen. Welcome back to Generation Zero. We are back in one of the command bunkers, specifically the Menken. Minkin. See? Nope, nothing left for us to do. Now we gotta go to this last region of the mountains. Up uh, over here somewhere. Uh, I think it's here. I mean, this vaguely looks like a bunker entrance. I mean, this might be a bunker entrance also. But I'm leaning towards either this one or this one being bunker entrances. Everything else doesn't really feel like it. I mean, this might be. I mean, hell, that might be. I have no idea. Uh, so let's head over there. We're going to hit up this one on the way. This one. And then we're going to make a nice leisurely stroll up this way. I think we have to go off to the right somewhere. So that's our plan roughly for today. Uh, it's uh, as normal. It is subject to change depending on enemy aggression and uh, how annoying they get. Oh, hang on. We gotta change you. Place waypoint. So, about this game, I, I've got to admit, I'm have, I've had a lot more fun in this game than I have, I mean, in some of the other games that I actually bought outright. I mean, this game has been more fun than Homefront Revolution. I mean, the shooting is actually better in this one than that one, and this one's just infinitely more entertaining uh, I mean this one's just so nice just to explore this is an open world that's done well it's not done perfectly there's issues but it's done reasonably well oh. Oh. don't hit them don't hit them don't hit them I think if we hit them it'll make them angry and they'll charge after us but yeah this is a good open world this is kind of like how you should do an open world I mean Elden Ring is one of the best examples of how to do an open world and to pace your game effect effectively back up because Elden Ring you can tell there's lots of planning that went into it so that you have the player uh, that gives the player a lot of flexibility on how they choose to Go about the game. Oh. Goodbye. Did you hear that? I hope he didn't. Yeah, that's one of the things that. FromSoft did really well with Elden Ring. So they were able to balance the gameplay and make it feel rewarding that when you actually beat a difficult boss or explored something that was off the beaten path, it actually felt good. Whereas games like... I mean... A lot of the Assassin's Creed games, they don't really feel like that. It's like, oh, you found this. Congratulations. We were hoping you would find it. In fact, here's a whole... I guess a side quest associated with it to drive you over here. Because that's how it felt with... Uh, 
Not Jedi Survivor. Not Fallen Order. What is it? Smuggler. Star Wars Smugglers? I forget what it's called now. The Ubisoft uh, smuggling game. That one you never really explored and it felt like you are discovering stuff. There's maybe a couple times that you discover stuff you're like, oh, this is cool. What is this? But most of the time it's like, hey, you want to go check that out? I'll pay you. Oh, you found something great there? Yeah, well, you keep it. You know what? Keep my money too. It's for a good cause, right? It's like that type of stuff. And on the occasion when you would like how do I phrase this? When it wanted you to go to some to go find something like a collectible. Excuse me, a NPC would say, hey. Let me show you on this map. You'd be like, hey! I hear on top of this mountain here is an old shack that if you climb under it. There might be a reward for you. So I was like, okay. So you go there, you find the shack. But to get to it, you have to solve a jumping puzzle that's annoying as hell and takes way too long to do. All for, for a collectible that gives you no reward other than it's a collectible. Yeah, that's what's a lot of the open world games become. Uh, the other the other thing this game does well not the progression the progression seems is an issue because our character slowly gets stronger but it doesn't really ever feel like we did that with purpose it feels so much like it's all done accidentally and that you're gonna play this very specifically. There's no like multiple ways to play this game. You either play as a support or you play as an assault. There's no in between. We're playing as kind of a support class mixed with a bit of assault. Well, we started off as a support. Now we're leaning heavily into uh, assault because, well, we kind of have to. Otherwise, locate the bunker, and we need to destroy machines in this region. We crossed. Yeah, we just crossed over it. Because this game, it wants to have like, <laughs> excuse me, it wants to have like a, an overwatch class where you would be in a sniper position and you'd call out targets. But that's not that helpful, honestly. Because what you end up doing is, you either have multiple people doing that in which case, you just sync up your shot, your shots, and you take out almost every uh, robot. Or you have no one doing it because it's not effective. Because there's no point in having someone hang back and try and snipe and do Overwatch. So unless you have a large group together probably not worth it to do that because they want to have the sniping in there and the precision precision shots which is really really good and can be really satisfying especially when you hit the tanks that's really great but it comes down to like i mean we have the skill i can show you that you're not going to take marksman when you have to put points in weapon sway because that makes those three levels you put in this tree Pointless. There's no there's no reason for it. Now, if those three points were put somewhere else, that might be more useful. But you can easily negate the weapon sway with other perks that you can put on the gun if you really want to be a sniper. So it's like, 
this one's pointless. This one's probably the best, one of the best ones. Command, <clears throat> Commander, not really. We found so many of those fucking radios that we've been breaking them down. It's so, it's fucking not worth it. Medic? It's, that's probably the best, one of the best support ro roles. Uh, survivor, not really great because we have so m I think we have like 60 extra adrenaline in our box that we're not using. So that's not really helping. Commando, once again, not helpful. Unless you're going to be a sniper, but if you're going to be a sniper, why are you taking commando and not? Well, actually, commando would be better than marksman. But for 15% extra damage dealt, unless you can one-shot them, which you're not going to do with a sniper, because I haven't found a sniper rifle that can one-shot a tank yet. Even if we hit at the in its fuel tank. So there's no reason to. Because after the first shot, they're aware to you, and you lose that 15%. You're better off going with anything else. Hacker, I haven't messed with. Hacker might be good. Engineer sounds like it's just more of a harassment technology uh harassment mentality that you just send these things out to keep the enemies busy that sounds something more like you play with a, a two-player squad you have one person take that one person take uh, a heal and you just hope that you can distract the enemies long enough but no it'd probably be hacker medic and vanguard most people will probably end up running vanguard Unless Hacker is broken. Hacker might be broken. I'm not sure. But I also don't know how to... What the requirements are for it. Because it sounds like it might... Be slightly annoying. Hmm, opponent damage. And it's... Oh, it's temporary too. That's another thing I don't like. If you had spotting... Like actual, like a Assassin's Creed does this. They do this fairly well. In my opinion, it, it stays on too long, but it's good. Same thing with the Sniper Elite games. If you spot an enemy, they should stay marked for a reasonable amount of time. You know, a couple minutes if you're in the area. Especially if they're in your, if they're in your field of view. But when they're only marked for, what is it? 30 seconds? No, that's not worth it. Because at that point, it's like, there's no point in marking them. Hacking them sounds like it's better than marking, so... Uh, we're going to take this because we want explosives expert. Because we want the damage. But yeah, I can see most people running probably Vanguard for the damage reduction. If they're going into assault like we are. Otherwise, Hacker? Maybe Commando? depends if that actually goes on to if that works with rockets that's a major that's a huge benefit if you works with like explosives which it might I'm not sure but I see Vanguard being the way to go forward uh, do you count in this no you don't count no oh I didn't want to take you oh well because we're just over the line, yeah. Or under the line, excuse me. If you, if you wanna make s the sniper more powerful, Increase the marksman's class so that it does more than eliminate weapon sway. Have it. Mm, have it increase like damage with like single shot rifles or bolt action rifles. Because then it'll be uh, a lot more useful. Or well, useful. It'll be a lot more tempting to take. Or have the like, marksman increase accuracy as well. Something so it's actually beneficial to take. 
Whereas, like, Commander, I think it was, was one of them. There's really no reason to take it if it's just for fast traveling. If you had it where, like, all your people playing with you, all the players got a boost from you, hey, that'd be great. But, uh, where is it? I went too far back. I can't see it really. There's something behind this. Behind us, there's probably a hunter. Got it. What am I doing? We need the, we need the key cards. don't have it. Okay, it must be military military quality. Like you. You have one? No, you have explosives though. Hang on, are we Nope. We're in. Yeah, we're in the area. Technically not in the mountain region yet. Kind of hoping we were, but I guess not. Yeah, a commander or command. The commanders, that's in, the one that lets you fast travel where you have. He has. That when you place one of those down, it gave like a debuff or a buff to your players, to anyone in the vicinity. That'd be very. That'd be so much better. Or if it let players, like, fast travel to you for free. You know, make it something more tempting. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Hang on. Okay, it's up that way. We need to go this way. Oh, get on the road. Thank you. Oh, and then like, was it Soul Survivor? I think that was the one that lets you get up whenever you're down by yourself. That one, that's okay. But if it had a, uh, if it had the perk of uh, health regeneration, that you, whenever you drop below like 50%, that your health would uh, slowly regenerate, hang on. Hi. Under the card. I didn't reload. My fault. Hey. That perk had like if anytime you drop below 50% health, it, health regeneration kicked in, and the lower you were, the faster it would activate. You know, nothing crazy, but like when you're at 10%, it increases the fastest possible. Like if you're at 25, it increases. Well, at 50%, it kicks in. Then when you're at 25, it increases the amount and the, how rapidly it goes. Then you're at 10, it increases again. But, you know, nothing, nothing that's going to crazy and break the game. I 
I hope we're in the right area, because holy shit. This is a entrance to the bunker and not just some random house. Up, oh, crouch. They're not gonna like this, but that's fine. There we go. Got the one behind you too. Oh, you're not there. Now you are. I got the one behind him. But I didn't get him. Okay. Power on. And then hit the find the war board. this part of the game where it's like hey go find these bunkers find a way in store power you know that's that's nice i like it it's simple you understand it's not too complex you know finding out it's the ones you find out in the world who you need to wait for a mission to be able to turn the power on, those I don't like, and those I have issue with. But for the most part, it's nice. This is cool. Gas leak? Yeah, it is. Hi. Okay, gas is flammable. I didn't know that. What? We learn. And we move forward. Uh, we gotta put eyewear on. Hmm. What's down here? Iron. Just another room. Alright, let's 
take this mask off. The clothing thing is also a really nice touch. I like that there's different uses for it, that it's not just... You can put effects and stuff on them, and it's kind of nice. Eye patch. Glasses. I mean, a lot of them feel very... Honestly, useless. But it's nice. It gives a nice customization option. Get rid of you. Uh, the UI, or well, this, this. Oh god, this fucking. What even fucking is this? This layout, this menu system. It's not good. It could be reworked. There's stuff in here that shouldn't be in there, and then you have stuff in here that doesn't really fucking matter. I think some of it's a... This is going to sound stupid. Because I don't know anything about the devs. I don't remember anything about the devs. It might be a translation issues. Like it makes more sense in another game. In another language. Because it feels like that's potentially... Like, oh, we use this word. that It means these three things. But when you translate it into another language, it doesn't mean exactly that. It's something similar. But not exactly. Or it's stuff that has been patched in since the game was released. And they never went to redesign it. Which isn't terrible. It's better to have it than not have it. I'm, all, I'm always a fan of it. Of that. Unless it's bloat. If it's bloat, then I can do without it. That was a nice ambush, actually. Aha! Ah, Warboard, the final one. Teach me something. Dispatch, this is Patrol Car 18. We're outside of Clean by the railroad tunnel to Muscot and Naval Base. It looks like a train cart has derailed right over the road here. A whole container is blocking the road. It must have come from the Naval Base. We can see some movement up there. Me and Sandberg will investigate. Let's hope it's not like in the movies where the last thing you hear will be someone's... You had to say it, didn't you? You had to say it. If you were quiet, nothing would have happened. You would have stayed alive. But you had to say it. Ah. Okay, so we get lost and found. Persistence. They lost supply truck in the mountains. Okay. Lost supply truck. Police can... That's the one we just heard of. And radio silence. The radio mass nearby. Oh, that's on that hill that I was talking about. Yeah. Okay, there. Oh, that one's actually... Nearby to that place, okay. Well, you know what? I mean... Let's do this one. And since we're... It's literally right around the corner. Uh, this feels like it's going to be a multi-step one. Hey! Huge chunk of XP. Hell yeah. high we need to get down some because of how steep this area is getting down is more dangerous than you want but to be careful all right we're fully loaded or fully reloaded excuse me
What is that noise? Is that supposed to be the wind in the leaves? Is that the surf spray? Or is it a fucking shopping cart? Do not ask me how I knew this was here. I have no idea. And why are you fishing with a gun? That's some redneck shit right there. I suppose I knew that was there because it's pointing that way, okay? That's it? Okay. Oh. Well... Catch! Oh, there's more than one! Fuck you. Fuck you. I call bullshit on that. That's annoying. Out of everything that can happen, I... That's one of my least favorite things. Is that fucking sniper round going through so many object objects that it's not even there? Oh, these are more canisters. They're from the IGA facilities. Looks like you hit a thing and it went crazy. All right, what's inside here? Pick our lock. Uh, ammo, and that's gonna be it. Looks like. I will just take it all and we'll sort it out later. Okay. Open. Thank you. Oh. That is satisfying. I do like the explosions in this game. I mean, regardless of how annoying and deadly they are to us, I do enjoy them. What is it? Electrolyte. Oh, uh, they were dead before. Uh, I didn't kill them, but the explosion. I fucking hope. No, they're dead before. There's only like six NPCs in this game, apparently. Okay. Oh, what's the fastest actual way to get to you? It might be from you, actually. Go out and up and over. Yeah, let's do that. We'll go mountain, mountaineering for a little bit. Uh, let's drop off the ammo. There, don't care. Go away. You two. You and you. Armor piercing SMG. We don't care about. We have plenty of that. Smoke grenades. Go away. Go away. 
but okay. We're light, a little bit lighter. That's the wrong way. Actually, let's, while well, we're going here, we might as well unlock that place. Because we're going to have to go right by it. Hopefully, these robots have no interest in us. Christmas trees. We're gonna ditch that. It's in here. Like that. Okay. Schematics. I hate that they call schematics that as well. Uh, the upgrade points for pretty much everything. And then schematics are also a collectible type. I really hate that. Because it's like, is it the schematics that we need to look for that are collectible? That do nothing except give us a small amount of XP and fill in a journal entry? Or is it a schematic for upgrading stuff? I wish they were called something different. Like a blueprint, for example. Because, what is it, Mad Max. Mad Max has what they're called historical records, I think? Or historical files? So that, to... That looks like one of the fucking hunters. That you can find. And... There's also the parts for like the... For like some of the... Uh, Oh god, where are they? Projects that you can build at outposts. I call them outposts, I don't remember exactly what they are. The strongholds, excuse me. That you can build there. But it doesn't tell you really... Oh, sorry. It'll tell you which one's which. Like, hey, there's a part here for the outpost projects. Or, hey, there's a th item here that's for the... It's a historical uh, record item. So you know to kind of look for it. Or to know if you want to spend your time looking for it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, also, if you don't know how I'm reading the map, uh, the lines are contour lines. The closer together together they are, like here, the steeper the mountain is, either going up or down. In this case, it's going up, so it's getting steeper. Uh, if it's going like this, it could also be going down. This could be a depression. But since we know it's a mountain, it's going to be steeper, going up vertical. Uh, the greater distance be between them, such as like these, it's a lot more flat land. Uh, depending on what the map is and how these are scaled, it could be like the difference in elevation between these two lines is a meter, 10 meters, 5 meters, 10 feet, 20 feet. It just depends on what scale they decide to use when they put the lines together. Uh, typically, the government will kind of set like the standard for that if it's going to be something that they have to use. Uh, 
There we go. We're past the steepness now. Okay, just checking we're fully reloaded still. I didn't shoot a random rocket off and not reload. way. Oh, he's all the way up here. Oh. You're in an area I haven't been to. We can reach you fairly easily, I think. Yeah, by trip, but we can reach you. Right now, we're in the middle of a mission, though, so we can't just leave. And more than likely, he's one of these guys. down off this hill. Oh, you sniped me. Holy shit. Well, it's a good shot. Now, the issue is I don't know if that came from behind or in front. too accurate for a dog. I hear you. Where are you, though? There you are. So they weren't supposed to be part of this. They became part of it because I was loud. Gotcha. Oh, we got a yellow. What was that? Handgun compressor? Yeah, handgun compensator, excuse me. Where's the radio they want us to use?
machines. We will deliver this device to the estate of Fall Nostad on the northern coast. Please proceed there immediately. More intel will be provided on site. Repeat, the jetty at the estate of Fall Nostad, west of Haga border. We will provide a device to... Aha! Some resolution to do something about the machines. Are you? Oh, there you are. Like, what the hell? Why is there still, like, warnings? Alright, so we got a new spot to go on the northern... On the northern coast, they said. There it is. Alright. We got that one and that one left to do. And then that third one. The third one we're going to do last. We're going to do these two first. Uh, but we'll do those next time. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go and track this guy down and make him pay for ever daring to become a level... Oh, there's my neighbor. Uh, becoming a rival to me. So I'll see you next time when we go in. Beat. Some of the last missions here. Hmm. But that's gonna be next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Till then, bye bye.